The Airsoft A330 happens to be one of the most hotly anticipated aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator at the moment. But just how much do we know about this aircraft? And more importantly, should you be excited given what we know about this aircraft so far? What's the expected level of fidelity? What features will it promise to include? How do the visuals hold up? And most importantly, what do we know about its potential release date and price? Watch the video till the end and all of this and much more will be covered in our new show today. So strap in and enjoy everything we know so far about the Aerosoft A330 coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator. What is going on guys, Varun from Flyby Simulations here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As mentioned before, we have a great show for you today, but before getting into all of the details, a very quick word from our sponsor for today's video. Now, long-term viewers of the channel might know that I'm not much of a bush pilot or GA aircraft flyer. I love flying large airliners, which usually involves long periods of time where I put the plane on cruise and just kind of sit there. So instead of rotting in front of my monitor for hours on end, I prefer to go out and do things, whether it may be a run, doing my laundry, enjoying a meal outside, but there's always that lingering feeling about how my flight is doing, whether it's all peaceful or if I'm in an uncontrolled nosedive about to kill all of my passengers. Well, with today's sponsor, Asun Remote, you don't have to worry anymore. Asun is a free-to-download application software from macOS, Windows, and Android that allows you to remotely control your PC using your phone. As can be seen here, I can monitor my flight, control the cameras, and even move things around as needed without having to be anywhere near my monitor. And this doesn't just work for games. As a content creator, I get great peace of mind when I can monitor the status of my video being rendered on my editing software and having the ability to upload videos to YouTube without physically being at my desk or computer is an absolute godsend. The app does allow keyboard customization as well as mouse support and can also support games up to 144 FPS. So log on to the link in the description section of the video to see all of their expanded payment plans, including a pluggable device that can wake up your PC remotely. Once again, that's Awesome Remote, and you can find out more by clicking on the link in the description section of the video. So, ladies and gentlemen, the first piece of news we ever received for the Aerosoft A330 was close to a year ago, back in March of 2022, when Aerosoft first released images of their aircraft in the 3DS Max rendering software. As you guys can see, even close to a year ago, we received some in-depth images of the A330's wings, as well as various doors and cargo compartments within the aircraft, showing us at least the visual fidelity we can come to expect with this add-on. Now, for those of you that don't know, Aerosoft had a fully-fledged A330 available for P3D back in the day. However, one point of contention or highly requested feature from the customers at that time was wing flex. This initial update made it very clear that the new rendition of this aircraft within Microsoft Flight Simulator would indeed support wing flex from the get-go. So good news on that front. Swiftly moving on from this initial update, the next time we heard anything concrete from the developers was on June 2nd of 2022, just two and a half months after the initial update. As you can see through some of the images on screen, we received a plethora of media content with both internal and external previews highlighting the progress the aircraft was making. It is important to note that at this time, the aircraft was still very much slated to release during Q4 of last year, and the developers confirmed that the aircraft's price will be set at below 60 euros. Looking at the images themselves, it's clear to note that the aircraft was coming along rather nicely. From an external perspective, it was clear to see that the fuselage, the wings, the belly of the aircraft, as well as those famous tubular engines were paid attention to in order to create a faithful recreation of the aircraft in the sim. It was also obvious that the latest PBR, or physical-based rendering system afforded by Microsoft Flight Simulator's latest technology, was heavily incorporated on the A330, just like Airsoft's previous two projects, the CRJ series and the Twin Otter, of course. Focusing on the internals, it became quickly apparent that the same level of detail being put into the external side of things was also being incorporated into the cockpit. The classic light blue color of the pedestals, combined with accurate button placements, gauges, screens, and lighting elements, the foundation of the aircraft looked rock solid. 
However, as much as visual details are intriguing, they're nothing without proper system simulation and depth. So let's see the next major update the team brought us, and if there were any major progress made in this regard. Well, the answer is… sort of. Our most recent A330 development update from Aerosoft came just three months ago, in December of 2022. Now, eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed something wrong here. Wasn't the A330 supposed to release in Q4 or Christmas of 2022? Isn't that what you just said? What happened? Well, Mathis Koch from Aerosoft took to the forums to announce that the aircraft was indeed officially delayed, as they were trying to perfect it prior to releasing it to customers. The statement is ironic, considering much of the community now considers Aerosoft's products quote-unquote abandonware. This term comes as a result of them creating a reputation for themselves of releasing a relatively unpolished product and not supporting it through after-sale updates or patches. That being said though, the team does hope to change this reputation among the community and have vowed to bring this aircraft to both PC as well as Xbox, just like most of their previous releases. So moving into the update itself, the team did provide some new interior and exterior previews of the aircraft, showing massive progress made from the images released just 5 months prior in June. As can be clearly seen, the aircraft had fully embraced proper reflections and Airsoft showcased several liveries that will likely be coming with the aircraft's initial release, most likely sometime in 2023. More on this in a bit. When zooming in closely, one can also observe various screws, rivets, bolts, as well as decals on the exterior, which weren't present in the previous update. However, though there were positives to take away from this, there were also several negatives when observing the aircraft holistically. Take for example this icing buildup on the aircraft. Sure, the fact that it is being modeled with accurate performance characteristics is a good thing, but the way it appears on the nose and wing of the aircraft looks too patchy or compartmentalized to me, not realistic at all. I'm unsure whether this is an oversight on Aerosoft's end, or whether this is a Microsoft Flight Simulator limitation. Whatever the case may be, things don't get much better when looking at other aspects of the aircraft visually. When observing some of these ultra close-up images of the aircraft, the seemingly low resolution quality textures used is alarming not only for me, but also many others in the community. Just look at this shot of the landing gear with low resolution decals placed on the contraption or even this aircraft door with extremely low resolution text on the top. Fans of internal cabins within aircraft would be happy to note that the aircraft will have one, but looking at the textures of the seats from the external view, as well as the galleys and interior compartments, especially this image over here, is extremely concerning. Now, I must say, personally, I don't really care much about what the aircraft looks like externally, I'm more of a cockpit flyer per se. But you would think that a payware developer, especially of the ilk of Aerosoft, charging close to the 50 to 60 euro mark for an aircraft, would include 4K or even 8K textures for some of these often appreciated details by the community. When observing the interior of the aircraft, things don't get much better. Yes, I must admit that the interior lighting, button placement, as well as the textures of the switches themselves look quite nice, but the resolution of the various screens within the cockpit seem to be completely off. Not to mention, the font used for the screens is also not representative of the real A330, at least not from most of the images I've come across so far on the internet when comparing this project to real life. Not a real world pilot, so wouldn't claim to know, but do let me know in the comment section if you guys think I'm right on this one. All this being said, however, there are still some positives that ought not to be glossed over. The first is that in this very same image, we do see some rudimentary system fidelity, as the wheel well page on the lower ECAM display is indeed simulated. Sure, this is rather basic for a payware add-on, but I hope this little treat can be extrapolated to the rest of the aircraft as well, including decent normal operations and non-normal operation simulation. It's important to note here that this aircraft will not be study level or extremely high fidelity like the PMDG or Phoenix products for example. Instead, it's designed to provide a decent rendition of the A330 for basic point-to-point -point operations. Another positive to note here is that the EFB or the electronic flight bag to be shipped with the product also looks very good. 
As can be seen from some of these images here in the background, it hosts a rather comprehensive collection of pages, including payload and performance calculations, route planning, and more, all with native SimBrief compatibility. Since the CRJ series from Airsoft also had native Navigraph charts compatibility, I expect that will also be included with this A330. Lastly, we do know a little about the performance of the aircraft in this rather finalized state as well. Since the aircraft isn't yet being publicly beta tested or anything, all we have is the word of Mathis Koch, one of the developers on the Airsoft team. He says that with this aircraft, he seems to get a solid 60 FPS on his personal system. Now obviously, that can mean a whole range of things, and there are too many variables at hand to decode exactly how the aircraft will perform. However, if I were to make an educated guess based on prior Aerosoft products, the level of complexity being simulated with this aircraft, and the usual optimization that Aerosoft does with their airliners in prior sims, I think this is one of those aircraft that will indeed run pretty well on most systems. Aerosoft concluded their last development update by providing a tongue-in-cheek reply about the status of the aircraft's progress, saying it is 89.04% complete. Of course, this was meant to be sarcastic and the number is completely arbitrary. However, I do strongly hope that the rest of the 10% of the aircraft that still needs work does address the rather alarming visual concerns that the community is taking up with both the exterior and the interior of the aircraft. I also strongly believe that the aircraft will be released in Q2 or Q3 of 2023, so just a few months from now since we will be getting official WASM support for Xbox on March 21st with Sim Update 12. So it all just fits. The team have also confirmed that the aircraft will be shipping with a vast array of interactive documentation where users can click on different schematics to learn more about various subsystems within the aircraft. Another neat touch that I hope more developers incorporate into their releases. Now, before we proceed to the conclusion of this video and answer the all-important question, should you be excited for this project? Another new update from Aerosoft has just surfaced, showing three more images of the aircraft, as can be seen on screen right here. Note that this is all that was shown by Mathis Koch. No new release date was provided, no confirmed pricing information or anything. Just happened to be a coincidence that as I was recording this video, more Aerosoft A330 news popped up and I thought I'd include the images in here for show. Upon a little bit of rudimentary analysis, however, nothing major seems to have changed apart from a few decals, hatches, and little protrusions seen on the engine nacelles, indicating a bit more external modeling has progressed on the aircraft. From this range, it's impossible to tell whether the resolution of those decals and textures have improved or not, but as mentioned earlier, I certainly do hope so. On the other hand, however, it seems the aircraft itself has indeed been passed on to beta testers, as the images seen here are taken by one of those testers, thereby indicating the aircraft might be closer to release than even my Q2 slash Q3 of 2023 prediction. And ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of today's news show. So should you be excited for this project? Well, depends on what usually excites you. If you're looking for an extremely detailed aircraft that's also moderately priced like the Phoenix A320, or even free like the Innybuilds A310, then no, you should most definitely not be excited about this aircraft because it doesn't hit either of those marks. However, if you've desperately been waiting for a decent, modern, wide-body airliner and wish to only use it for basic point-to-point -point operations, this might just be the bird for you. Do let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this aircraft. Are you guys excited? Are you guys nervous? What do you want Aerosoft to fix first with this aircraft? Also, do make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy the kind of content we make. Thanks for watching guys, and thanks for flying by.